Hey everybody, it's time for Cheap Eats. I'm Ralph, that's Steve, and we're spending the day in Culver City. And we're gonna go to Mexican restaurants in Culver City. We're gonna start off at El Habaño where they chop and dice and make all this fresh food. And then fantastic tacos at Taco Miendo. And then we're gonna sneak over to Tito's and have some of those Tito's special alleys. Remember, if it ain't spicy, it ain't nice. <laughs> We're here at El Habejano. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. It's got great sauces. Yes. It's cafeteria style. It's all fresh made, and you feel like you're south of the border. But you're right on Inglewood, south of Culver. And they make those big burritos. I want one A of them. A super burrito. It's like this big. Oh, let's go get them, baby. All right. I've been coming here to El Habejano since 1968. The first time I came here, my dad asked me to come over and get him a torta. Back then, they made the tortas at the store, but they had a little window that they had the kitchen back here. Yeah, I've been coming here for many, many years. Hey, everybody, I'm talking with Ramon. Ramon, you manage this place. Correct. And you're part of the family. Exactly. How, where did this place start? How, how did it begin? It started in 1969. Yeah. Uh, it started as a, as a market. Uh, it had groceries, Mexican yeah. groceries, which were hard to get at that time. And where do the recipes come from? They come from my mother-in-law. Okay. Back, all the way back then. Exactly. She's the one that Great. created all this. You know, she started making sandwiches for the workers at uh, Hughes Aircraft, which yeah. is that used to be down ago. the street. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yep. You know what? Steve's back in the kitchen cooking. We should go back there and check on it. All right. Let's all right. go. Okay. So Ramon, we're going to make, uh, what, what's your best breakfast dish? Chicken chinaquiles. Okay, so as I understand it, we've got chips going in here. Correct. We've got this special secret sauce. Correct. With the chicken going in here. Now what do we do? Okay, once he has the chips nice and crispy, okay. uh, he's putting the eggs in there right. while the uh, chicken is heating up and mixing with the sauce. Now tell me what's in the sauce. I can't. You can't. No, that's what gives it You have to kill me if I do that. Ah! I'm coming here at night and squeezing this that's, out. That's okay. a secret. Anybody can make chilaquiles, but they need the sauce. And it's mixed with eggs. I love that wrist movement. Mm -hmm. The wrist movement does it all. Mm -hmm. I bet you. Take this here. Put it in here. There you go. Mix it up. It goes on the plate. He puts some uh, dry cheese, cotija cheese on top. And then it comes with rice and beans. Mm. So Ramon, the beauty of this restaurant, because I've been here probably a hundred times, is that everything that you see out here is made fresh. I've seen you do it. And then everything is, is, is hand assembled as the people come up here. Exactly, so you, you see everything. It, it's sort of like you get a whole view of it, and then you, you pick and choose what you want. That's correct. Now, the, the specialty that I love is those taquitos. What's different about them compared to the regular taquitos? Uh, well, most people think of taquitos as the uh, rolled up hard shell tortilla. What we call taquitos, and this, I don't know how it started many years ago, somebody named it taquitos, and I think it was my father-in-law who just decided to make it for lunch one day, one day and said, this is a taquito. But it's two tortillas dipped in oil, shredded carnitas, cheese, and avocado on top, rolled up. Ooh, baby! Let's make it and let's try it, okay? All right. All right. We have the uh, shredded carnitas here. And that's pork. Exactly, pork. For the non-educated carnitas lovers. Then it goes with some cheese right on top. Fresh cheese cut yeah. up. Yeah, Monterey Jack cheese and a slice of avocado. And a little west side, little west side avocado. And we just roll it up. And there you go. So it, it sort of looks like a small burrito. It's not like there's a traditional taquito where it's fried. It's just luscious. Now, you know, really the best way to tell this, and the way I've always told it, is you hold it up to the camera, then you hold it up to your face. Mm. This is like beating SC in a football game. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we've got this shrimp who I call the ooh la la baby because it's got the hot sauce for it. Mm. 
Diablos to us. It's just what it's called. You must have hibiscus to go with it. You know what? Look uh -huh. at this super burrito. I am going to do this. Mmm. Um, that is packed with the best most rice and beans. Fantastic. And look at this. Here's the guys. Dips and beans. And all this homemade sauce is hot, hot, and hotter. Well, that's a great way to start the morning. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Fantastic. You know, we just left El Alajeno, which was fantastic. Now we're going to take a great trip across the street to Taco Miendo. And I've been here about a hundred times. And you know what? It's right at Inglewood and Culver Boulevard. And uh, I want to take a turn in the kitchen. You cook in the kitchen and I'll just do what I do best. And that's eating, smiling, and tickling people. Sounds great. We're at Taco Miendo, a unique, small, but delicious taco place here in Southern California. So why Taco Miendo? Why? Because the name of Taco Miendo is like eating tacos and fresh and delicious tacos. And you've been, you've been here about six or seven years? We've been here for 12 years. 12 years? Yes. Wow. Oh, so yeah. this is one of the few healthy local spots. What makes it healthy? Uh, we don't use any lard or anything else. We just go all natural and fresh every day. And other than the tacos, which are amazing, what is the most popular food? The most popular are burritos, and uh, we have real vegetable burritos, which is uh, pretty popular. And we're here fairly early in the morning, and there are lots of people with smiling faces. So you must be doing something right. We're doing the best we can. Okay, I think the secret is we should go in the kitchen, and we should have Ralph prepare some food with you, okay? Sure, let's go Let's in. go do it. Let's go do it. Hey, Ismail, taco shell, what do we do now? We're making a uh, real chicken taco salad, which is, uh, we use a grill, clean there, chicken there, breast. There's the chicken. There's the chicken. We okay. cut it uh, in a thin slices. You know how to do this, don't you? And then we go from there, put it on the, on the shell like that. Okay. And we put a uh -huh. sour cream. Okay. Guacamole. Guacamole, fantastic. And pico de gallo. We make it fresh here every day. Everything. What else can we make? We're, now we're, we're gonna, rolling now. We, now we're going to make a. Uh, maybe you can help me with that. I would love to. What Chicken, are we going uh, to? We're going to make a carne asada burrito. Put some uh, sour cream on it. Okay. A little cheese. Looks art artistic. And guacamole. More guacamole. Okay. And then pico de gallo also. Same. Same thing. And then we okay. grab the meat. Then we put it up. And All right. We want that. We chop it up. Okay. Do we scoop it up like this? Are you taking the whole thing? Then put it with that. Okay. There you go. What's next? And then we go here. We have a spoon. Okay. Some rice. Oh. Where'd the rice come from? Who made that? We made it fresh till this morning. And what is that? Oh, beans. Beans. Fresh beans. Which made, we also made. Also homemade, which is you can see it's been made to order. Right now. And then you grab this. Yes. That's what makes the difference. The burrito from here okay. goes directly to the flat grill, which goes right here. Oh. You roll it like that. Yeah. All right. Have you and done then, this before? Yes. <laughs> and then go to the plate. Okay. A little chips on it. All right. And your grilled onions. We use oh. onions. Oh, that's beautiful. That's great. So I put that up there put too. Put that huh? up there too, so they can take it to the table. Okay. And you're all set. It's up. Yes. I gotta taste this. Sure. That is delicious. Yeah. Oh, that's real. That's really delicious. Thank you. Clean, lean meat. Okay. Let's go eat. Okay, let's go. Now I have the chicken taco salad, and let me taste it. Chicken is grilled to perfection. Now, while you're eating that, I'll sneak in this grande burrito. The rice, the beans, the cheese, the guacamole, the sour cream. Guacamole. It's very thinning. It all blends together. It's unbelievable. And the chips? And now. Crispy, perfect. Just perfect. Great with the guacamole. Wonderful.
And you have to get it on your face a little bit. Just to all you out there, a little melon drink. Cheers. We're at Tito's Tacos, where you can get the greatest burritos around. People who are movie stars, TV stars, and every walk of life eat here. They're crispy, they're great, and they're exciting to be around these great lines. What an institution, right here at Washington Place in Sepulveda. Can you come with us and stand in line with us? Go. So I've been coming to Tito's Tacos for about 23 years. My family and I just landed from New York, and the first place we came from Hertz Rent-A-Car is Tito's Tacos. Everybody comes, not only it's in a nice place, and it's always packed, so make sure that you have enough time to come, because Tito's Tacos is the place to come. Hey everybody, I'm talking to Amato. Amato, what do you do here? I am the manager. You're the manager, manager. and you just got here. This is a, a new job for you? No. How long have you been here? 53 years. 53 years? Are yes. you kidding? <laughs> You're like a Los Angeles hero. <laughs> How long has the place been here? Yeah, 53 years. 53 years. So you were the first employee? The first employee. The very first yeah, employee. The first day we opened, I'd be here. Wow, and you're still here? I still here. What do you do every day? Well, I check everything. You, you run know, the place. The food, you run the place, everything. The food's food. pretty good. I've been coming here for decades now. The food's pretty good. What's your favorite? Well, I think the tacos and the burritos. Okay. Tacos and burritos, regular burrito with cheese. And okay, so I guess I should try that. <laughs> I, I, I think I will, too. You know, Steve's in the kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. We should go check on him, see what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to make a tostada. Tostada, maybe. Let's do it. Little beans. Put beans. And then we put lettuce. Well, after 53 years, you sort of have this down. And the sauce. Yeah. Okay. This is the tostada. So this is the real take. The real key is to take it up here. Mm. Good. Tastes, yeah. tastes like this every time. I've been standing in that line out there for 40 years. <laughs> took me 40 years to get back here in the kitchen. Mm. Now how about making you one of those favorite tacos? Can we make one of those? Okay. This is the meat. It's already cooked. Okay, then we put lettuce, the cheese. So everything is freshly made. And this is ready. Let me try one of these. Mmm, fantastic. Uh, no, nope. you have to eat with the meat. The meat is right there. Good. I'm going to take this outside and eat some more food. A Tito's taco, cheese enchilada. Mmm, it's mm. so good. Mmm, 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 Chicken tostada. Mm. All melds together. The American cheese in the Mexican restaurant. The now, lettuce. now, the test. Guacamole and chips. The real test is the salsa. That's a good test. Delicious. Mm. Fantastic. Freshly made. Cheers. Well, what a day. We ate from one Mexican restaurant to the next. And saw a lot of happy people eating that amazing tacos and other things. Wow. It was just wonderful. It's time for us to go, but we're going to see you next time. You're going to be coming along with us from one place to the next right here on Cheap Eats.